Welcome to our first Mountaineer Open here for the YOLO Solo. This is going to be an epic battle between 300 viewers from the stream. Mountaineers up in here making the dream work. And we're testing this out. We want to see how this goes. Welcome to match one. Grab your gear and shoot. Game number one. We will be able to switch through all of the players. We have a gigantic map, and it's probably going to be a big camp off because the only thing that matters is that you are the last player alive in the classic YOLO solo format. I've had the opportunity to play in a couple of these and watch them myself, and they are the absolute best because it is maximum stakes. Yeah, smokes would be massive as well. Smoke chain your way through. Speaking of which, Vaughn gets a kill. 11 kills on board? No, let's stop, Vaughn. What is this? He's just going for the slay option in the lobby. Clear that side, side of the zone. But the kills don't matter. Yeah, the only the thing that matters is getting first place. And of course, that means a little luck with these zone pulls. First zone pull is going very far. Doesn't even take the shots a third party in on it. Or prioritize that zone rotation. Save the plate and utility with one bouncing Betty to try and secure a position, especially with no smoke grenades. He's going to go for the challenge. Here's footsteps ahead. Ram 9 out. This building is not even in zone, but he can clear the back. Huge clear. Now it's one less person to worry about on the back rotating in. Muni box acquired. That can be big for the extra Bettys and Smokes. Sniper shot! Oh, those headshots! Him. Smoke goes down. Vaughn got so lucky with that. Immediately drops another Smoke. Gets to the buy. UAV goes up, but nobody's even on it, or it might be a spectate bug on our end. Laser spotted. Big slide cancel right to the face. But shots on the back. He's going to have to burn the durable to get the reset. There are so many people alive. Still 12 players in this small ass zone. Vaughn is cooking though. Full durable mask burnt. He needs to secure another kill to get another durable. You got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Requesting got a little bit of cover. Mortar off. goes down. Let's switch over. Henry Ruggs, three kills on board in one of the buildings. Edge of zone across. Another knock comes out for Vaughn here. Han Solo still in this. No kills, but he's got that shield. He's looking to be a late game threat with that kitty cat talking. And there's Riz still in the game. This was the LTV driver from earlier. Two kills on board. Chainsaw! He's got the chainsaw to counter the ride shields! Oh my god, that could be the play. Pure chaos in this as well. Four kills on board. Betty's down, holding the position, but they're all going to have to rotate. Bubba Bomb rotating towards where we saw our high kill player, and there it is. Gets the rotation through. No gas mask and cover in the building. Able One still in this as well. Drops that smoke. Here comes the push through the smoke, though. Not Stone Mountains in this. What? Flacco still in this, too. The Gulag winner. Four kills on board, early position rotated. Also running that 762 MTZ. Rotate goes over, sees the shielder early positioned up. Is he gonna work for a Betty? Non-stop in this as well. Still 14 kills shot out of zone. Huge pick! Crossfire comes out, he's got Flacco in his right! Flacco's not pushing this though! Flacco's playing the zone! Five players left in this small zone! Here comes the push! Countered, no plates! Who's making a last ditch effort? More smokes acquired and Betty's. He's just gonna sit the smokes, wait as long as he can. Last Try and catch order. the third party Kill out. Here's the footsteps on both sides. There's the nuke skin. Drops a Betty in a desperate move. The Gets the kill, five. top three. Flanko, 16 kills. It's a ride shielder, not Stone Mountain. Trying to take the ride shielder out. Flanko's dead. Vaughn could get this. But it's the right shielder that's going to be the bigger threat. It's down to a 1v1. Here comes the play. The shielder versus Vaughn. 17 kills for the clutch. The melee shield. He jumps over it for the win. Vaughn absolutely popping out of his mind. Are you kidding me? No jailbreak. This guy stayed alive. We watched seven kills after zone five. Mr. Vaughn himself. <laughs> Yo. Come on, man. What was that game? I got to spectate the end of it. The last, like, 
seven kills that you got at the end game there were after zone Bro. five. Talk me through your game. What was your strategy on that one for anybody who's about to go into game two and three? Man, my strategy was all morning I've been so nervous and I've been telling myself, don't play any other way that you wouldn't play on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. You know, I, I love to play aggressive. You know, I would rather die right off the bat than hide in a corner. There so, it is. In-game, I've never had that many people surrounded me <laughs> it was insane yeah. i was like i have to play smart i can't well i can't shoot everybody when you were top five there you had your biggest threat uphill from you he died out flecka was also popping off in the lobby and then there was a riot shielder out on the uh up on the yeah, hill on the up, left yeah. side so there was kind of that pressure i thought maybe you would I, did you know that there was a shielder as the third alive yeah, yeah i seen him normally what i'll do if i see a shielder and another guy i'll let them fight and then i'll third party because i hate fighting against riot shielders it's so hard to get them they have the aim bot with the riot shield and yeah you know so uh yeah i just i just kept on telling myself all morning you can do this you know you're a good player you play aggressive that just Stay playing that way. Yeah, uh, it's exactly what it looked like, man. You dodged a snipe, though, for your life when you were hitting the buy oh, station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You went prone. Did, yeah. You got so lucky that didn't hit you and then played the full durable out into the zone to get the reset because there's just so many people alive. You got like you got like 22 people in zone six, zone five there. Typically, there's 22 people left at zone three and zone two in a normal solo game, so it's completely different. You handled it super well, though. Do you play mostly solos? You do quads. What's your usual style? Um, so I'm, I usually play duos with my cousin. Um, shout out to King Clout. But uh, anyways, but I I have been trying to practice on solos because I've been trying to better myself. I'm, you know, I just I'm trying to go for PRs. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been trying to practice solos, yeah, get in the rank. Work. But rank's kind of I don't know. <laughs> sure, man. Well, well done. What's your uh, kill record uh, in a game? Uh, Thirty. 30 there it is all right well the skill prevailed today for this solo i always say this game has got a lot of luck to it and some of those people that were there at the end especially some of the shielders they did make their way there with zero kills so you can make your way there either way but to get that final one he almost had you there kind of yeah, but yeah. You, you played it well <laughs> you knew what to do against the right shielder ladies and gentlemen game two of the yolo solo mountaineer open has begun. Zippy, two kills on. He's going to push a building in and definitely going to find somebody in there. Every building you know is going to have somebody in it. Low health. No chance to get a replay. Doesn't get pushed, though. This is big for him. Zippy could get the replay. Charzy fighting just outside. Finds one. Mortar strike down ahead. Doesn't want to go into it. Zippy did get the replay off. Now, for not getting pushed earlier, has the advantage, gets the crack. You want to push this out? You got the damage lead. Get the advantage. Take care of it. Waits to let him get a replay, though. This is nerve-wracking. Durable gas masks already being burnt here. And it's not even these players that are close that are the main threat. It's going to be the players on the opposite side of the zone that are getting yet another zone pulse, ending exactly where I thought the game was going to end. That's not your high threat. You've got to focus your high threat in the building here. If he clears this building out, now he's got his slice of the pie secured and he can actually work his way more towards endgame. He's got the Semtexes, but even that Semtex there gets a crack. He can't work off of that, though. They're both still out of zone. A Hail Mary, yeah. great throw, I might have. Gets the knock? What the heck, Zippy? What are you working with here, man? This is still not going to secure him the win, though. He's burning a lot of his utility on something he doesn't necessarily need to. He does have the hold here, though. I'd say keep that SMG out. Cook him when he comes out. You got the lead spot here. Spot's another. Playing down low. That's the opportunity to open with the snipe, then swap over. Whips that one. LTV. Dude, is that last just driving around in the zone now? He's going wild. Top three situation. Holy, this is winnable. Zippy needs to lock it in. He's got one on the left. And the player in the Hummer up high right who's got the major advantage of the zone here. Swapping over. It's last, dude. It's last. He's going crazy, bro. He's trying to run him over. The fight goes out. Yeah, knock goes down. Out. Last King gets the splatter. 1v1. He's going for style. Oh, just misses. Goes back up top. He could go for a seat swap replay. Top his health, but it's risky. Running people over in this game is 
so bad. He gets the aggressive push. That's the win. Five kills, 26 spectators. The vehicle driving like a madman. Half the time, when you run somebody over, it looks like you run them over and then it doesn't hit. I even got hit the other day and it just pushed my character. It didn't even kill me. It doesn't always work, but this is something that we saw massively executed back in Warzone 1, Warzone 2, now even here in Warzone 3. The drivers, you are basically in high ground with a vehicle. If you cannot get cracked, if you don't put pressure on that driver first, they jump out whenever they want on a full speed vehicle. You can't do that in PUBG, a lot of these other games. This game, you can. You choose when to drop out, set the fight, and if you have full tide on health, in fact, he even had a health lead, you win that. Well done. King! With the victory! Man, talk me through it. What'd you think? Uh, first first thoughts coming out of that huge win, man. Oh, man. I just kept thinking back to game one, and every time you were spectating somebody and they were in a car, you are like, oh, they're setting this stuff up for, uh, for the end game. So that's what I did, man. I just dropped down, got a Hummer, went to edge of zone, got my load out. And then uh, just just was playing zone, playing ahead, playing ahead. And then I got in the rocks and there was nobody around me. I was just clearing everything around the rocks and nobody came to me to the end game. Well, that was the Pretty beauty. Nice. I saw you rotate with the car earlier. I think you killed somebody by like a telephone, telephone pole or whatever, or a, a tower earlier. And then, yeah, yeah. And then I saw, because we were spectating that guy, I saw you kill him off. I couldn't see who it was, but then we spectated him with the, the Hummer drive there with you setting position up in like zone. That was like zone three or four. Maybe it was five, but it was right when the zone locked. You just gunned it down to that hill. And I saw you, you even went out of bounds for a second, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're getting, I was like, oh no, if he dies out of bounds, this is going to be bad. But no, you held a really good spot there, and we we skipped around between everybody. They were all playing on the edge of zone on the other side, killing each other off, burning their gas masks early. We're down on resources, fighting in that firing range. They ran out of resources so fast. You still had the gas mask, but why go for the drive play rather than hold the high ground and let them all thin each other out? I was getting antsy, man. <laughs> I just said, <laughs> you know what? I got I got to be aggressive. I, I got the, the drop on these guys. You know, I'm going so fast around him. I was able to get a couple car kills at the end, uh, which was which was pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. And it made it a lot easier. Did anybody shoot you when you were in it? I saw you had a little bit of plate damage. I don't know if you see swap went for any replates at all. Yeah, yeah. I went up to the top of the mountain because I was fully cracked. I got sniped, uh, but he didn't Ooh. hit the headshot. So I went, got out the car, fully plated while they were fighting. And there was two left, so I just drove down there, tried to get one. The other guy killed the other guy. And then I, I just was running around in circles. I was just driving around in circles until I couldn't I know. It's, kill. it's so hard to run somebody over with the cars in this game because sometimes it shows that you ran them over, but it doesn't actually run them over as well. Either way, man, you, uh, you got it done. Huge jump out play on the last guy. Already hurt. Coming in on a big third party, playing the aggression on it. And both game one and two, the aggression... The aggression was the key, so we'll see how it works for Game 3. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game 3 in the YOLO solo matchup. We've seen two of them play out with intense, aggressive gameplay, actually winning them both. Look at this. Skittles is just running across the middle of the map. Completely uncontested. I don't yeah, know how he didn't just in. get shot New there. I mean, that was a miracle for how many people are alive in this game. 13 people. Actually, not as many as I would have thought. But look at where the game's ending. It's going into the valley. So all the players are out of cover at this point. Got to go for place. Huge shot from Polar there. Polar Bear there. Gets the pick. Sees the sniper. Eats the shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. This, this sniper needs to get this knock finish. And he does. Wonderful push there. Absolutely beautiful distance covering right there. That's where yeah, maybe a med vest again. with the self res wins the fight for him. Firefighter rotating in edge of zone right now. That was Jesse James. We saw earlier on the roof. Eight kills on board. Okay. Smoke goes here. down. As he is taking some shots on the left, that's for a porty buy. What's he going to get, though? Probably UAV, right? There's the intel. We can't see that as spectators here, but he knows he's got one left from the smoke earlier. As he is wrapping down towards, this is where Skittles was earlier, although that might have been the kill. This is their thermal sniper, and he does have smokes to utilize, at least one in pocket. Shots come in from the right. I wanted to see if it swapped me over to the other player shooting him. 
SM text come down. There it is. It's Firefighter Joe, who we just saw coming outside of the zone. Pressure on with the early crack. AMR in pocket, but he let him get the replay. That's bad. Jesse Jack goes down. No. Replay got out. Five health. In. Joe, 10 kills on board as well. He's slaying. This AMR is going insane. But he's still got to deal with the LTV coming into the end game. Drops another smoke so he can get that self res, get the loot situated. Bully playing up height three kills, but he's got the LTV. He's not looking for kills. There's a riot shielder. It's him out back with the gun as well. He's using the LTV to juke the distance. Gets in the vehicle. Seat swaps. Seat swaps. Hops out. A little damage on, but he can fight. And he fights it! Big win by Bully! LTV circling around. Doesn't get engaged. Raven still in this as well. Two kills. One of the players with that LTV earlier lost it. Lightly hijacked it, as a matter of fact. He's got that Bass B built for range. And a thermal optic. Can he get him out of that LTV? Would be massive. He gets it! He can now regain control of the LTV, but he's got another one just up ahead. No more durable gas mask top four situation. Good damage. Doesn't actually hit. That was the vehicle he hit. Smoke goes out. He's got that thermal that he could utilize. He's got to find the target, though. The other player staying covered behind the poles. You can see him up top. Bully. Four kills on board. It's been good. Mortars on top of him, too, here. As he's going for the smoke rotation, but it's not going to work. Firefighter Joe's still in this. The fourth is Merc looking through. No thermal optic on it. Raven's moving yeah, in with that thermal, down. though. He wants the kill. The Problem is, Zone's pulling towards him. He doesn't even need to fight here. Spots the rotation out left. Still four players on. Gets the dirt on him. Here's it. Top three. Rotate yeah, left. He sees around. it at the tree. He didn't see it. On the left, he could get smoked. He's got to be worried. He saw the smoke screen go left earlier, but he had to deal with the pressure on. It's a lot to absorb all at one time. Let's look at this guy. Goes for the precision airstrike rather than the shots. Firefight. Big mistake of a play. Thermal goes down. Or, excuse me, the smoke goes down. He can thermal through. Merc's playing slow. He was behind the rock there. He was slow playing it, staying prone. Back in the LTV, though. This is the winning play right now with the thermal, with the LTV. Goes for the splatter. Runs him over. It's a 1v1, but the res is still available. No gas mask. He's taking damage. Self res goes off, dodges it the second time. It's still a three man play. Knock goes down, and it's splattered. Wait a second. Wait a second. Firefighter's still in this, and it's one. It's Raven. Raven wins it. Five kills on board. This was the early LTV player. Holy shit. He could have even seat swapped. He could have played it slower rather than going for the splatter. But what a game, ladies and gentlemen. Raven for the win. Is this Raven here in the uh, voice channel? Are you our champion, my good sir? Hey, Stone. How's it going? Yeah, I'm your champion. There it is. Congratulations, man. I mean, what a play at the end. We spectated on with you a little earlier in the match when you were just setting up. You had the trophied truck. Uh, talk me through your, your strategy, your game plan, and then why you didn't have it for a segment when it was like top 20 towards the end. Sure, yeah. I mean, I just uh, hit stashes. I kind of set up, uh, do the normal thing. I actually was underwater for a little bit, just kind of burning one full zone. And then, yeah, I had the truck, and that got taken out um, by one dude I pushed on the left side of the circle. That was when you were Damn. out in the field, right? So did your truck get blown up then? Did he shoot yeah. at it? I think a mortar may have hit oh. it, and he also beamed it out. No, it was, he beamed it out, and then he threw a grenade, and that took it out. So, so, But then you shot somebody out of an LTV and then pushed another LTV, yeah. and that's what got you regained control of it. Yeah, so then I took out the guys on the right side and he had an LTV, and it, the zone pulled back to that LTV. Yep. So it was like top three. I'm just like, F it. I'm going to get in this LTV and take at least one out. And uh, actually, so I splatted the last, the second to last guy. But to my luck, that second guy downed the the second guy. So the third guy downed the second guy. So I just ran over and finished him off. Yeah, so yeah, 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 was, yeah. <laughs> I was well, the, dude, the early play, 
with the thermal as well. You had the thermal site. You were the only one that yeah. had it. And they're actually, you missed the guy who was ramping on the left side when you were in the top three. He did run to the left side more, and he was going for a precision airstrike on you. If he would have just shot you instead, I think mm. you would have just been dead there. But there, you were looking to the right. There was a dude on the right as well behind a rock, and he was playing maximum patient, didn't even peek. He was just staying prone the whole time for it. But it worked out well. Playing the early, having the thermal uh, was was definitely an interesting. Did you get any kills with that through any of the smokes? Oh yeah. So like this game is so smoke heavy. I am just running that thermal now. I am looking through all that stuff. Yep. I am love. It, it's actually really fun. <laughs> like these end games have become more fun because I can get a lot of kills at the very end. Yep. So yeah, I'm loving it right now. Yeah, the push to make it into the top five there was. Uh, your control of out of zone pushing to the guy at the LTV was was huge. Yep. yep. Man, what a fight. Well, well done, man. Congratulations on the win. One of our three champions today. All right, folks. That is the day. Thank you all for joining in. Thank you, Mountaineers, for joining in on all of the games to all of our competitors. I was hoping for a jailbreak, honestly, guys. I, I know that would have pissed a lot of people off who actually made it to the end game, worked their way there, fought for it. But I got to say, uh, we had a great show nonetheless. The vehicles were insane. Thank you all for joining in. Congratulations to all of our winners.